You know, folks, everybody's always wondering uh, what's in store for TNA Impact Wrestling in the future. But I'm here to talk about what I feel they could be in store for or what could be ahead for TNA next year in 2012. You know, according to what many people are saying, they seem to be off to a good start right now. The fact that they're finally putting the spotlight on those that actually put TNA on the map originally, like Bobby Roode, AJ, James Storm, Daniels, and, you know, so on. And they're putting more emphasis on the X Division. Well, to me, I, I think TNA does, it does... I mean, I haven't seen TNA really in, in a while. I haven't seen Impact Wrestling in a while. I mean, I do watch the highlights at times on YouTube and... Or sometimes I'll try to watch it off of on demand because yeah, Spike has Spike TV has it on demand, believe it or not. Um, and I, I do try to watch the pay per views when I download them. I, I have to see TNA is doing a decent job building itself back up. Um, you know, some people credit with the fact that Russo's not in charge anymore of creative, but Pritchard is, and. You know, he's starting to do things the right way, maybe sort of the wrong way, you know. He still has to be judged about He's Basically, he still has a lot to prove in this role, so we'll see what happens. Um, well, basically, to me, the outlook for 2012 for TNA, if they keep up what they're doing from what other pe from a lot of people are saying, it looks like it's going to be a bright one for them. I think 2012, which ironically is the 10th anniversary of the since the birth of the company since the company was founded I think could be the best year yet um, I mean first of all you, you, you start off with you know you're, you're basically ending the year right now even though it's a filler pay-per-view in the eyes of many you're ending the year right now on a, on a high note by main eventing by having your world title main event between two TNA originals now According to a lot, according to what I've under, read online, depending on the reliable source, TNA seems to be focusing focusing back into that direction, putting more emphasis in those people like AJ and Rude and, and Storm and Daniels and such. But they're also, as well as putting more emphasis on the X Division deal. Now the question is, what kind of 2012 will they have? Well, I'm hoping again, like I say, seeing as though it's the 10th anniversary, I, I'd have to say it's going. I'd hope to say it'd be a bright one. I'm, ho I'm hoping that this would be a 10-year anniversary that no wrestling promotion would ever forget. Um, you know, for you know to start off, you know, I think they're going to do well. I think they're going to try their best, in my opinion, try their best to at least keep the world title around the waist or contended. And contested and fought upon and wrestled about, wrestled around, around by the originals. I think that's one of the main goals to keep it, keep the world title picture in between the originals at most. Probably at times allow someone like an Anderson and maybe a Hardy and maybe an Angle to come back into the picture, but most of the time try to keep it around around and send it around like I say the likes of Rude, Styles and Storm and Daniels and and so on. I, I definitely think that's the best I think that's definitely what they need to start doing. If they're doing it now they need to keep that up going into next year. Um the X Division I feel will be more highly motivated. You know, they got the deal going on with Triple A, so I definitely think the X Division is gonna get spotlighted more. And I think it's going to be one of the best years. See, like again, it, again, it revolves around the fact that it's a 10-year anniversary next year. So you definitely want to spotlight the one division that helped put you on the map the most. And that's the X Division. You want to help spotlight that more than anything. And I think that's definitely going to be spotlighted. And I definitely see some surprise. I definitely see some. Um, I definitely see this um, Jesse Sorin, Sorensen, Jesse Sorensen. As people talking, you know, that's got people talking. I think I see him as a breakout star next year for the X Division. In fact, I see this Jesse kid becoming the X Division champion before the year's out. I think I see him becoming champion maybe at lockdown at most, maybe sooner. I don't know. 
Maybe it'll happen this Sunday, a, a turning point. I don't know, but I definitely see him becoming a champion. I definitely see him holding that title for a long time. Uh, Kid Cash, uh, I, I definitely would say he's got a chance to become champion maybe one last time, so I would suspect him to be champion. I definitely see some more X Division like competitors coming in from like AAA in Japan. Um, I definitely see some X Division competitors being signed on from the independents, maybe even from Ring of Honor and WWE. Um, I, I definitely see the X. Honestly, what I'm saying, I definitely see the doors being swung right open, being busted right through for this X Division in the 10 year anniversary of this company. So. The X Division, in my opinion, 2012 is going to get spotlighted big time. Really, really big time. And, you know, and speaking of the X Division, the one person that I feel is going to be the breakout star, going to be the, I, I guess you could say, be like the next AJ Styles, next Samoa Joe, or whatever. Basically be the next person in, in, the, in the line, the next person in the line of guys that have gone from being X Division champion to world champion. And I believe it's going to be Austin Aries. I mean, everybody's very high on this guy. TNA is obviously high on him. So I definitely see Austin Aries being the breakout star of 2012 and breaking out from not just being an X Division competitor, but if they do another Bound for Glory series and hopefully do it right this time with the, with the correct and right and justified result at Bound for Glory 2012, if they do another BFG series and this time do it correctly, I feel Austin Aries is going to be one of the top guys in that BFG series if they do another one. You've got to put him in there because he's definitely an all-around competitor that can go. Um, as far as the tag title division goes, right now it doesn't look very... The picture doesn't look very well you know, for the, for the tag title division. I mean, initially you only have two tag teams right now. That's right, you only have two tag teams. Ink, Ink, and Mexican America. I mean, you could say, well, you have sort of a tag team with Fortune and whoever they can get together. L let me tell you about Fortune right now. Fortune is only three guys. Kazarian, Storm, and Styles. And that's it. That is it. Um, if anything, they need to bring in some tag teams from the independents, and I think that's exactly what they're going to try to do. Maybe they'll try to get some tag teams put together with some of the competitors that don't have really much to do. I mean, you got Robbie E and Rob Rob Terry that seem to be becoming a tag team, so that might work. That could be the start of something. You still have the British Invasion, but you haven't really showcased them that much. So, uh, you know, hopefully, you know, they start bringing those guys around, putting them in tag matches, and you know, who knows what happen, who's going to happen, but. Hopefully 2012 can be a, re a rebuilding year for the tag team division. Now as far as the knockouts go, um, I think it's also going to be a rebuilding year for them. I mean, you know, they brought back Gail Kim, which I think is a good thing to do. You got um, Winter, Mickey, Angelina, Velvet, Madison, um, all in the division. You got Sarita and Rosita. You got Victoria, you got Tess Marker, you got Toxin. You know, so I definitely think you got enough to, enough knockouts there to not only build your build up your singles division for the knockouts championship, but you got enough there as well, and maybe bring in a few more here and there um, to build up your knockouts tag team division. So you got enough there to help rebuild your division with both championship as well as with is rebuild both championships, the knockouts and the and the knock the knockouts tag and the knockouts championship itself. And with the rumor going around with the rumor going around that Melina might be heading to TNA, you know, that could that will really help out as well. And maybe even Maurice. You know, with those two names being rumored to be heading down to TNA maybe in two thousand twelve, that'd be great. Um we'll just have to wait and see but I think you know with all the knockouts you have right now under your contract like say when from Rosita Sarita from Sarita and Rosita to Toxin to to um, Angelina Love to Winter to Velvet Sky to Mickey James to Tess Marker Madison Rain 
you know, Victoria, you know, heck, even Karen Jarrett, I'm not going to be surprised she'll get involved, Gail Kim, you know, you got enough there to really help rebuild your division to, and make it as prominent as it used to be. And with the fact that you bring in Jackie Moore, uh, Jacqueline, and ODB at times, and again, like I said, with the rumor going around that you might have Melina and maybe even Maurice heading down to this, down in this direction, it's definitely something to look forward to. I, I definitely something to look forward to, and I definitely feel that you, you will have enough. TNA will have enough to rebuild the division. Now, now again, like I said, you know, with all all that, again, like I said, they're gonna have enough to rebuild the division on both at levels, tag team and singles. Now, as far as the rest of 2012 goes, it's gonna be totally up to them overall of what they do. The TV title, I think, can really be, if focused on a little bit, can really become play an integral part, part in TNA. I mean, they're starting to put it on pay-per-views views again, so maybe they'll start paying more attention to that and see what happens. Um, but we'll just have to see, wait and see what happens there. But I think that can be that division, if you want to call it a division, can be built up a little bit and kind of be like the, and kind of be like the, and I hate to say this, be like the intercontinental U.S. division, U.S. title division for TNA. So if you, I mean, you got a lot of people. It doesn't matter what uh, weight limit they are, they can compete for that TV title. Don't just try to make it a joke. Make it a legitimate title, and I think 2012 could be the year that TNA uh, could try that. Uh, the pay-per-views, um, I don't know if it's going to be a rebuilding year for those. They might, they, they'll probably get some decent numbers if they start going in the right direction. But I think the most important pay-per-views that you got to worry about the most are getting decent numbers are the Slammiversary, which is their 10th anniversary show, Lockdown, which is in April, and then uh, Bound for Glory, which is, late, which is in October next year. So those are the ones you really got to look at and kind of tell yourself, was this year, is this going to be the year or was this the year that TNA was hoping for? Because I think if those two, those three major pay-per-views along with Genesis are built up correctly, they could actually bring in some decent buy rates. So, to me, overall, I feel 2012 could be the year that TNA rebuilds itself. I think it's a definitely it's going to be, you know, I feel it's going to definitely... You know, re like I said, I feel it's going to be the year it rebuilds itself. I feel it's going to be the year to where it's finally going to try to break through that glass window, sort of, or kind of make a little bit of a crack in it, and then burst through it by, by, possibly by the end of the year with Bound for Glory. But I feel it's going to be the year of, re most of all, I think it's going to be the year of a rebuilding, and it might be probably one of the better years, and that's all I can hope and pray for. For, for Dixie Carter and, and th those at TNA. So give me your thoughts down below. What do you think about TNA in 2012? Do you think everything could go the way I said, especially with the additions of maybe new knockouts coming in, maybe even new wrestlers? I mean, John Morrison's being rumored possibly to head to TNA in the future. Uh, tell me what you think. Video response down below. Tell me who you think will help out next year in rebuilding TNA and making it its best year ever seen as though it's its 10th anniversary and just let me know your thoughts comment down below do a video response if you want and I'll talk to you all later and I'm sorry if I was a little off right now it's about 11:43, and I'm tired <laughs>